Welcome to the Sunny Good Ride Studios, where it's absolute hell outside, but it's warm and beautiful in here, and in our hearts. <laughs> Always. This is the Arbor Annex. We did a little drifting without any lifts. <laughs> we had, we had a shutdown for a yeah. while, and then we were completely shut down, and we thought we wouldn't get this on lifts, and then we got it on lifts for a little bit, uh, thanks to Mount Bachelor reopening under some COVID re restrictions. and Very limited. Very limited, but... We got some more time on it. It's a great addition to the to um, the kind of like the Gucci boards. Yeah, in designed, the Arbor line, and it's designed with the Gucci. It's my favorite tapered directional free ride board of Arbor, uh, for sure. I uh, I had the most fun on this, and it feels the most versatile. Yeah. Where the cross cut and the A frame, a little more carve heavy, a little more aggressive. This. Just seems to lighten it up a little bit. Be While more maintaining playful. extremely extreme stiffness. And as far as sizing goes, um, this 59 felt just right. I mean, felt perfect. Yeah, I could go 59 or even bigger in this. I can go 62. But it, it, it you know, it it's would change up its 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 uh, personality a little bit. But 59 yeah. felt really good. As far as the shape goes, taper directional, uh, you can see there's just so much more nose than tail. There's still enough tail though for a good landing. You can get some air with this and it's not gonna be weird. The camber profile has full camber from tip to tail, but then they lift the edges right at the right end of the effective edge, uh, kind of like a fender from a car. That's what yeah. they call it. They call it fender uprise. And what that does is it gives you most of the stability and the overall feel of camber, and it gives you all that pop and drive that camber has, but it's not catchy. If you were to come up here and get a close look, you can really see that fender lifting up on the ends. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty incredible how, how catch-free it is. And it seems yeah, like there's a little more fender going on here with this board than other Arbor boards. If you're an, even an intermediate, you can skid turns you with this. It might not this, yeah. be your ideal board as an intermediate, but you can skid turns with this and um, it's way more forgiving than you would think. And it's pretty consistent in all conditions, except for hard snow that lifted, those lifted ends of the effective edge. They get that little bit of like, you lean out to get that edge and if, you put that weight towards the tip or the tail, it can wash a little bit. It can feel a little edgeless, a little off. It doesn't track as well. Yeah. But overall, it feels really good and pretty consistent. It's more consistent than hybrid rocker. <clears throat> yeah. Um, for sure. Uh, but not quite as consistent as full or hybrid camber. Let's talk about flex. Don't flex. Annex. <laughs> <laughs> this is a sick yeah. It's mother. Um, it's got, I mean, I've felt stiffer boards, but it yeah. is really stiff between the feet. It's a little less in the tip and tail, but it's no butter buddy. No, nope. no butter <laughs> buddy. You can see this is. I mean, I'm able to flex this way easier. Yeah. And the pop is semi accessible. I was trying to like butter and pop this board and it's. You know, I'm not a strong butter, and I'm not a strong popper, and I found it extremely difficult to access the pop in this board, personally. But speed, uh, the base, it's got good glide. Definitely felt a little better than the crosscut camber that we rode it mainly against, but it wasn't quite up there with some of the boards that like we tried from like prior um from jones from weston and um and from never summer when we compared it against them they all had just a little bit better glide yeah um, you felt this thing stick around in the sticky snow here and there yeah, yeah even even waxed a little bit when waxed properly and done right and you're consistent on your waxing you keep this thing gliding well it's gonna glide pretty well dampness when pointing it it really jammed yeah, I mean, it's no Florida man's basement, but uh, it by no means uh, is a crispy biscuit. <laughs> it's, it's, got some, it's got some real, real smooth dampness. I mean, we took it in some pretty you rough terrain today. Point this. And absolutely able to point it and wasn't getting 
It, Chat there was no chatter in the yeah. board. There's no reverb coming up. Any in kind of knees. uneven train we've experienced from like micro bumpy snow to tracked up areas to just straight up chunder. Yeah. Um, to like just wet, messy groomers, and we just pointed it in all those situations, and it just handled it. it I'd just call it took the, it the perfect amount of dampness. Yeah. Yeah. Not 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 rubbery and not like dead. dead but not sending anything. Just the perfect, it's the perfect dampness. Yeah, and yeah. edge hold, uh, the system camber thing here is pretty cool. Um, the grip tech, the little extensions, the little bumps, and the boards um, help with the boot size a little bit. Like you can fit a little bigger boot in here on this board for the waist width. Uh, not Don't go crazy with it, but just a little bit bigger. Uh, but really where it shines is the extra edge hold and getting out in hard snow, even though um, the personality of the board changes a little and feels a little edgeless, when you get down on, uh, over on edge and you get off that more of a flat, being flat on the snow and you get onto that edge and you engage that side cut, you feel that grip tech work and it handles really well and hard to borderline um, like icy snow. But yeah. a lot of people don't like that magnet traction and they find it grabby. It a little this, too grabby. Yeah. This I don't find grabby. I really do feel it, uh, especially that day when we rode with Nick, because I remember that day, it was pretty hard. And uh, when I got on the Arbor, not on this one, but the other one, uh, I felt that grip tech just at giving me just a little bit extra edge hold without- Without grabbing without, ever and stuff. Yeah, so. without sending it yeah. too far. In one direction. Yeah, and turning and carving. I mean, this is a fun board to turn. Like I said, like I like this better than the crosscut, and I like this better than the A-frame, and it, because it seems like it like it lends towards somebody who's a little more turny instead of pointy and hard carvy. Like this can handle multiple radiuses, multiple radius turns better overall. I didn't get to really test it out in a. We didn't harder. get the snow. I only got softer oh, snow, God. so it's hard. It would have been so nice hard to for me to rumors. chime in there. Otherwise, I'd have volumes to say. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and and yeah. I mean, I would have loved to have gotten it in better snow. We just had it in soft snow, but you could feel what this board's capable. Funny of. how often we complain when we're testing other boards. We're like, please give us powder in this one. It's like, give me a stiff grumus. Yeah, we have mostly powder. <laughs> yeah, so powder. For full camber, it's got a couple things going for it. You can see it's got a really big, long nose. It's got taper, a short tail that helps the board sink and rise up. Yeah. You've got seven by two inserts per binding, so you can set it back a little further than you could most six by two. So you've got that going for it. And for camber, it floats really well. So the upright, uprise fenders make it forgiving, the lifted sides, Yeah, but, they don't really help that much with float. You can see there's, it yeah, seems like it helps a little, but it's it, not I mean, like, it, it does, it helps that when you're churning, uh, the sides don't just kind of like cut in. We set it all the way back and we wrote it on reference stance. And on reference stance, it took a little bit of work in that wet, thick powder we had today. Took, yeah. I wouldn't even, even, I, even yeah. compared to other boards that are more powder specific that I was writing and in reference stance. All the boards we rode today were in reference. Yeah, and this they, one was more work because yeah. it's mostly a camber and it doesn't really have those like cool, certain cool advantages that other Yeah, and this isn't shapes. a guesstimate. We rode all this board always against a lot of other boards yeah. in the same day. We did a lot of samplers. Comparing this to a lot of other boards, um, kind of peers, you know, like about similar taper, uh, similar shape, uh, just different camber profiles, different, you know, nose lengths, that kind of stuff. But as far as free ride boards go, um, kind of that free ride category, it's good, but it's it's not amazing. Um, it's not that, that just effortless floater, yeah. but if you love that camber type of board and you want that camber type of float, then this is gonna do a really good job um, for you. And it did a pretty good job for us, so. But overall, I mean, this is a fun board. If you're really into the Yaguchi Camber Pro, this would be a nice compliment because it definitely does float better than the uh, Gucci Camber. And it's actually pretty good overall for a free ride board, especially if you like that full Camber carve uh, without the catch of Camber. Uh, this could do a lot for you. 
It's no Warrior. cross track. I mean, it's no e- cross track. It's no e- cross track. Come on, Subaru, give us some <laughs> Money. product placement, right? <laughs> <laughs> All our reviews are done without any brand oversight. It's a best effort, objective opinion from an average rider's perspective. If you need advice, check the in-depth review on the site first, then fill out the Me Harmony profile in the Contact Us section so I can help you properly. If you want to support us, like and subscribe to the channel, and if what we reviewed appeals to you, it helps us if you buy through our links. So, thanks for watching.